Hey what's up guys, Mitch HD here and I'm here with a brand new model, this is a really awesome model this this is a KLM 747400 in their new livery make sure you check the, the uh, description for any information you may have missed or any of the links like my Facebook or Twitter and also uh, where I pre-ordered this from which was easytoys.com so this is my fifth 747 model and this is my second KLM model some info about KLM the operation space is out of Amstelveen in Netherlands. The main hub is Amsterdam uh, Schiphol. They're founded on the 17th of October 1919 and it is the world's oldest airline currently flying. Their fleet size consists of 115 aircraft as of the 26th of June 2015. 25 of these are 747s. 5 are passenger aircraft, 17 are combis, and 3 are cargo. They have 138 destinations worldwide, uh, and their 7, 747 destinations from Amsterdam are to Nairobi, Orangestad, Williamstad, Mexico City, Chicago O'Hare, Houston, uh, Los Angeles, JFK, Beijing, Shanghai, Hong Kong, Tokyo Narita, Seoul, Incheon, Taipei, Delhi, Bangkok, Toronto, and of course the famous Princess Juliana International Airport in St. Martin. The first flight of this aircraft was on the 1st of May 1997 and was delivered to KLM on the 15th of May 1997. This aircraft uh, is a combi, which means it carries a combination of passengers and cargo on the main deck and it is given the designation of the letter M after its aircraft type and the Boeing customer code for KLM is 06 so I'll just show you around the box here so just got this on the box KLM Royal Dutch Airlines 747400 on the front on the back just some warnings JC Wings logo because this is a JC Wings model picture of it In the bottom. Alright, now let's take a look inside. And there she is. Alright, guys, the model is now out of the box, and I will start on the port side at the cockpit. So you see cockpit windows. Nose cone, Air France KLM because that's a parent company. Um, also, it's like a, a group thing between Air France, and K Air France and KLM. Then there's the Sky Team logo because they're part of the Sky Team group, which is a group of 20 airlines. Tokyo, um, they name all the 747s after a city, and it just so happens that this one is named uh, after the city of Tokyo. Then we've got the gear door, we've got some writing there. Plane's not quite sitting on the ground, but uh, anyway, can't really re read what that says. Anyway, it's not shouldn't matter too much. Um, KLM Royal Dutch Airlines, and you can see where they have uh, revised their livery. They sort of made it more modern, more sleek by adding the curve and they made the, the dark blue line in the middle they made that uh, a little I think they've made it a little more thinner in my opinion it does look more modern um, but yeah not much of a change then you see the realistic landing lights like crystal looking lights then the beautiful General Electric CF6 uh, 80C 2B1F engines. And you see the KLM logo on there. And they do they do spin. That one spins. That one spins. So does this one, and 
That one should spin. It's just a little stuff, I think. There we go. Alright, so the, all the engines spin, which is good. And these, along with the Pratt Whitney's, are the most popular engines engines on the 747-400 series. There's the KLM logo with the crown. And there's the red, navig red navigation light. And then... Back onto the fuselage, and you see this door here, this massive door. That is uh, why it is a combi, because that's where, on the main deck, um, this section here, all the way to the back, is um, uh, for cargo, basically. So they carry things like horses and stuff like that, large, larger stuff. And there's then there's the registration PHBFT or Papa Hotel Bravo Fox Trot Tango. Then they've got the Netherlands flag because they're a flag carrier of the Netherlands and the European Union flag. And the Flying Dutchman, that's what they call all their aircraft. Then Boeing 747 400. KLM logo with the crown. Let's take a look at the APU. Very nice APU. Got the strobe light there. And then on the starboard side, we'll start here at the cockpit again. So Air France KLM, City of Tokyo, Sky Team logo, KLM titles, landing lights, and by the way, there's a uh, Cargo container door. I didn't spot it because it is kind of difficult to see right there. And the G uh, CF6 engines. KLM logo on the winglet with the green navigation light. Back onto the fuselage. Rear cargo container door. Then next to it is the Bogman door registration. The two flags. Flying Dutchman, 747, and the logo. Alright, so I'll just show you underneath the aircraft. So we have the nose gear, antenna, beacon light, a hole for the stand, the main gears and the gear doors, the wing flap slats, ailerons underneath the engine there same on this side with the registration and continuing down we have two more antennas down to the pressure relief valves and the antenna then down to the housing for the APU now on top of the model, we have an es escape door hatch, beacon light, couple of antennas, ADF antennas, flap slats, ailerons and spoilers. You can see the aileron there and the spoilers and flaps. Very well detailed. There's a SATCOM antenna and down towards the tail where they've got another antenna comms antenna in there two grey dots there and there those are the logo lights which light up the tail at night time right so I will now get into the seating of the seacraft okay so there are four versions uh, but because this is a combi, I'm only going to go through the combi versions, um, w which there are two of. So I'll start with the current combi version. So there is World Business, um, which has 42 angle flat seats from rows 1 to 4 on the lower deck, and 72 to 74, and 77 to 80 on the upper deck. So on the lower deck, that's from here to here, and, on the, and it's all... The upper deck. 
Then there is Economy Comfort, 36 seats from rows 9 to 17. So here to here. And then there is Economy, uh, 197 seats from rows 21 to 33 and 35 to 45. So that's here all the way to here. And here onwards, as I said before, that's all cargo. And then there is the Combi New Business, um, because with their new livery, they bring in a new business class. So they have 35 flatbed seats from rows 1 to 4 on the lower deck and 72 to 79 on the upper deck. So that is pretty much the same place there to there and the entire upper deck. Then Economy Comfort, 36 seats from rows 9 to 17. Basically the same place again there and it extends slightly further just to here. And then there is Economy, 197 seats again from here all the way to here. And then uh, that is um, from rows 21 to 33, 35 to 45. The rest of it is cargo. That brings the total for just the combi version to 275 and the combi new business class to um, 268 seats. Alright, so I will now show you guys the stand. KLM 747400 scale 1 to 200. We have the blue film on the back which is to protect the metal so it doesn't get scratched while it's uh, being delivered to you or anything which I don't think will but just in the event of that happening and that just comes off like that. Nice shiny metal back padding on top of the stand to protect the model underneath so it doesn't get scratched and it just sits in like so and there we have it um, some features of this rolling rolling landing gear some of them don't roll quite so well which they have been um, having well I've had issues lately with the quality on the gears as you may know if you watch my channel a front gear does swivel so you can turn it in any direction you want uh, you can see the landing lights both on the wing and on the gear um, gears are magnetic so they just pop off pop on same here there let's put it back on again and when you want it in the in-flight configuration gear doors right there Alright guys, so um, I hope you enjoyed this video, it's an amazing looking model and it is going pretty fast, uh, selling pretty fast, so I suggest that if you do want this model, or if you're looking at it, decide quickly, get it now, because uh, it will be gone soon. Um, so like this video if you enjoyed, comment, tell me what you think, tell me if you're going to get it. Uh, Share this video so other people can decide if they want to get it and subscribe for more. I have six more videos on the way. Next one is a KLM 777-300ER in their new livery. And check out my last four videos. Malaysia 747, China Airlines 777 and the two Air New Zealand 787s. And yeah, so... I want to thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.